Growth is something you expect to find in a garden, but the kind of growth the Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden is experiencing is simply amazing. Since improvements began in 2013, admissions are up 83%. The first seven acres of the outdoor garden development, a nearly $18 million investment in the 14-acre property, includes infrastructure improvements to the conservatory, a growing staff, and the inauguration of the institution's first strategic operating plan in October. These enhancements showcase a commitment to raising the standards of excellence in horticulture and leave the institution well poised to continue its evolution into a thriving cultural oasis. The Des Moines Civic Music Association is celebrating its 90th year of engaging, enriching, and educating the Central Iowa community through world-class music, including recent performances by influential composer Philip Glass, the Grammy-winning Spanish Harlem Orchestra, and legendary banjo virtuoso Bela Fleck with the inventive string quartet Brooklyn Rider. Additionally, Civic Music presents a free summer concert series featuring the Bellin String Quartet and also hosts music education events led by international touring musicians. The Des Moines Performing Arts popular Willis Broadway series continued with the North American premiere of Matthew Bourne's Sleeping Beauty and a successful return of the Tony Award-winning musical, Wicked. Plus, a riveting performance from the first national tour of the Gershwin's Porgy and Bess. One-night engagements from artists such as Crosby, Stills and Nash, the Moody Blues, and Jim Gaffigan were also well-received. The applause series broke another attendance record with more than 53,000 Iowa students and teachers attending and the Iowa High School Musical Theater Awards attendance doubled from its inaugural year in 2013. Last year, the Des Moines Social Club finally found a permanent home in the historic Fire Station No. 1. The multi-million dollar facility contains 30,000 square feet of stages, classrooms, and gallery spaces. More than 4,000 people were in attendance for the grand opening featuring a keynote speech by singer-songwriter-musician David Byrne. The Social Club produced more than 400 events and worked with more than 500 local artists. The Come and Go Theater has 40 weekends a year booked with live performances for the next three years. The Viaduct Gallery has featured world-famous pieces by renowned graffiti artists Banksy and Shepard Ferry, in addition to exhibits from more than 100 local artists. And the Des Moines Social Club Education Program now offers more than 30 classes a month. <laughs> 